Hello everyone, anyone, and welcome back. Apologies to Vinny Original Sin and Haha, <laughs> I got that part in. I'm Z Hall from Z Hall Gaming, etc. I love how I say that. There's only me. I'm planning on bringing other people in around other times. But right now, it's just like, hi, it's me from me. Um, but anyway, last episode ended very abruptly, because what happens is if I start getting these weird, like, glitches thing, as is when I've, uh, glitches in the game, I've noticed that's when my recording software decides it's going to be dead and broken. So... My point is, is that, um, that is the reason why I was a little unsure about what was going on. You know, it just occurred to me that they're not completely immune to fire, these guys. Anyway, the point is, that's, sorry about the short episode. Wait, oh, I can't see as much, because I guess I have Lore Master on this, so it's not, it's not just on Bear Daughters from whoever. Whatever. You know what? We're changing things up. We're changing it up. Uh, Zial might do less damage this way, but it'd be interesting. I just want to try it. I'm going to say Firestorm Grenade. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm great. Homegrown hotness. Boom. There you go. You're not being healed by burning, right? But they're not no longer in poison, so that's good. I don't know. It's it's a step. It's it's the right step. I cannot say, but it is a step. Now we can get her in position to start doing some damage. I probably should be focusing fire a little bit better. Um, I'd like to see if I can just weaken some of these guys. So. She does a lot of damage. Holy crap! All right. So lightning was not working very well. Have you put out a summon yet, Jahan? You have not, so let's give them more things to look at. Especially considering the fact that I think I'm probably just blew away all the cover. Yeah, I don't know. That might have been a terrible move, because now it's all fogged and nasty. And I could do Tornado to get rid of it, but at the same time, they're probably just going to put more poison down. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little out of it today. It really what happens is, is that I am a creature of routine, just... All humans are a bit of a creature's routine. Um, <laughs> like, I'm something different. Like, I am a human. Are you a human? Human, human. Um, and not having that uh, shower this morning? Wow. It's amazing how dumb I feel right now. I'm like, what? Who? Yeah, totally, for sure, brah. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, why am I looking at these arrows? This probably won't work, but let's try it anyway. Let's try freezing that. He just chilled. Whatever. If this battle be my last, no, I went out fighting in your name. Oh, look, there's even more of them. I didn't even see these guys back here. There we go. Hey, we leveled up in the middle of the encounter. Sweet. So I get to do that this level, this, this as well. I'm Nick. All right, here comes all the poison spores. Immune to poison. Barely does any damage to Zial. The poison thing was definitely a good idea. Uh, I have not summoned my beastie here yet. Which, this is fine. It costs a lot, but... Um, this is the battle of proxies. If you're not immune to poison in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no! He's no longer on our side. Okay. Um, let's focus that fight. Let's make it so that if he tries to move away, we got this. We'll work on this guy here. Burning puppy. Nobody likes bleeding. If it had worked, which it didn't. Okay, so now... Wow, there's more of them? Wow, holy moly. Let's try this. I mean, Nick gets hit, but I'm okay with that. Fought. Oh, it's because there's a thing there! Did it work? Well, it worked! <laughs> and then some. God, that spell is so freaking awesome. 
Oh man, this spell gives me this spell makes my um my willy stand at attention. Um which is quite a coarse thing to say. Anyway, let's go hit these mushrooms with abilities of my choosing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have my special ability on. That was dumb. Oh, well. It took a lot of damage, though. All these uh, things. Here, let's just be able to move faster coming up. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's no way I'm getting to the back of this. So, regular strikes will do it. Boom. One less to worry about. Um, and... Nine did as well. Pretty eyes. God, I love how demented our <laughs> she is. Uh, yeah, why, why not? You're like really, really tough. I feel quite dire. You're fine. Big wuss. Alrighty, Roo. Nah. I have to tell you, I know that I should be using it more. I got, I got, no, I got no time for it. Just make everyone stronger, because we got some summons on the board. Um, should have put on my special ability first, which I did not. Okay. Let's just get him over here. Okay. Hi. My name is Zial. Hi. My name is... Meet your demise! Meet your demise. So, yeah. Um, like I was saying before, just a little out of sorts, man. Hot water heater not being, uh... Not being here has, uh... Or being available has definitely messed my brain a little bit. Uh, so I still am taking damage even with being immune to it. Whatever. I'll live. Sweet. Good enough. Do I need to heal? I don't think so. And let's get some more CC on the board. I'm having a heck of a fun time, though. I really, uh, I'm gonna, like, I have to tell you, it's gonna be really tough waiting for, um, the next Divinity game to, to come out. Um, it's gonna be late 2016, from my recollection. You know, I, and I feel really bad, because I've only supported one game on Kickstarter, and if you believe it or not, it wasn't that. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't need money. Uh, my part-time job barely covers my expenses. Yet, yet, the reason why I'm doing the YouTube thing. Blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't, I don't need to play the sympathy card if you folks anymore. It's not sympathy, really. It's really just me telling the story, I suppose. But whatever. Point is, is that um, I didn't have enough money for it at the time. I was really going to, but I think what stopped me was I was like, ah, oh, should I get, like, the the uh, the Kickstarter back is for Dominion Original Sin 2 that's going to give me more... Um, copies of the game. Maybe my sister want to play with me. And this is before I, I was like, you know, adamant about doing the YouTube channel thing. Um, so no, I did not get multiple copies of uh, the game, which is a pity and such. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll be big and I'm big enough, and I'm able to be like, here you are. Here's a copy of the game. Boy can dream, right? Um, uh, it doesn't really matter. To tell you the truth, I pay them six times over for the next game. Especially, they... Wow, I do have to heal eventually. <laughs> All the stretch goals that they made. And they made a lot of them. Uh, you know what? Just heal yourself. We're, we're doing things a little differently. Because I'm going to hang on Poison Clouds. Afterwards, I'm going to forget to get the party all together for group hugs from Jahan or something. And it's going to get ugly. Quickly. Still frozen. And... Hello, I'm 
a I am a skeleton. So it's gonna be an interesting matter of figuring out um, what to be I'll be doing this. But this is really just me like going, hey, you know what's gonna be interesting? Something that's happening like way off in the future. It's like this has no bearing upon the current thing at all. This kind of shows my current state of mind. Um, you know, just a little bit out of it because my day started off so weird. Plus, I'm desperately trying to make sure I get recording because I have no idea. But replacing the hot, if they have to replace the hot water heater, um, that might just be like a super nice, loud project that's gonna be go, what? Like, I play Divinity Original Sin and I'm screaming at you constantly. Face the unending darkness. Nice. That was a heck of a crit, buddy. I didn't know you could hit that hard. These things have no physical defenses, which is kind of made a realization. I mean, the skeletons in them are. This is the crappy skeleton, too. Because I haven't committed to the higher level of witchcraftery. Brains. Brains. Okay, it's not that. Ah, uh, but yeah, Divinity Original Sin 2 is going to be amazing. I feel like a jerk for not having put it the the Kickstarter. Oh, the game that I did put money into Kickstarter for, uh, House of a Thousand Doors, I believe it was called. Um, all I can really say with certainty remembering about it at this time is that it was by uh, one of the designers of um, Sunless Sea and a Fall in London. Uh, Fall in London. And I even have a video on Fall London that I'm gonna have to like make a special location for some of the one-off videos I decided to do. I made like an hour-long video trying to describe Fall in London, which is a browser-based minigame that is so effing good, you guys. Oh, uh, let me put it this way: every single day, I make sure that I'm getting my Fall in London actions completed because I need to do that. It's like part of my routine. Um, the difficult thing that comes with it is that. I'd be the first to admit that at times, um, let's just do the other one. Let's just do this one. Um, make sure I do my Fall in London actions. It's a free game, and it's just really great. Um, and on those days to when I'm not feeling it, and I'm just kind of going through the motions, if you will. Nice. Um, in terms of, like, spending actions in that game. Actions are pretty much your currency. We've cleared yeah. the last of the mushrooms. I'm sure the bats won't mind. There's bats? Oh my god. Why didn't I do that when my kid just walked behind him and not been in poison? Plus, there's blood to eat. Odd sentence? I realize that now. Alright, new penny people, get over here. Get, go, go, go. Into the fray once more. Alright. Don't die. Oh god. That takes so long. There we go. We made it! Hooray. Really, if you're in that situation, I always try to beat the timer. Just just don't be cheap. Use a potion. <laughs> Especially if you're at the point where I'm at, where like, potions are pretty much free. There's so effing many of them. And yeah. For some reason, they just really like the starting Stitching town music time, thing. I'll have to restart the game and figure that out. Uh, let me clear out this area. Then I'll look through my potential leveling up prospects. Yeah, this this looks like crap. Make it not crap. <laughs> Go, Jahan! Okay. That was cool, though. I mean, uh, I have no idea what's, what exactly is going on, but I know that it made me happy that those guys are now dead. Um, so let's look through our leveling up options and things for the future. What we got is we got another attribute point. Huzzah. Uh, we have three skill points available with Seamus in this. We're not close enough to do anything. I don't think there's anything for, like, shield blocking, right? Shield blocking five. You just freaking block everything. You're the best. Um, not really. I've got to be curious what ta talent I, I come back with them. Probably the one excuse me, that's here. I think a Sidewinder, the one that I don't get a penalty when flanked, so that way I'm just able to be all 
up in everyone's business and such. God, Anaconda, just look at you. It's one thing, I really may go to that demon eventually. Uh, okay, I'm looking at my abilities. My strength's really high, my intelligence is high enough to where it needs to be. Constitution, look at that. That's a huge increase. So, welcome Constitution to be nice and high, because your job is to soak up damage. Skills for Seamus is probably stick it around in the defense area. I'm thinking armor specialist to make it easier for him to move because he does have a little bit of issues with that, especially when I put on turtle shell. Um, and if I can, take it off immediately. It removes a lot of the movement penalty. Uh, that's one way to go. Also, just probably more willpower. There's, there's going to be more. There'll be more to work with. I'm not sure which way I'll go that, so I'll save that for later. Zial. Oh, Zial, there's nothing obvious to do with you other than uh, the willpower will have to go to five for real before I can do the trait for willpower, which is something else, I forget. <laughs> um, you know, by chance... No. Yeah, see, I was just hoping. Because, like, that speed is so high. Oh, God, for her constitution is probably the way to go. And abilities. Ooh, do wielding. I get a 5% bonus damage. Now, out of curiosity, if I press this, does it tell me what happens if I get to... That you can't get to level 7, it looks like. Or at least it's not going to tell me what level 7 is going to give me. So I'm debating about dual wielding because it's just that's just it's just a five percent increase. Nothing like woo! Oh my god, that's the best. Um, she's got a skill point. She's got six of them available. We're gonna wait on her to level up, and I'll, I'll see what kind of suggestions you guys have in the comments. Uh, I have G George suggesting things, and he's got a lot of good ideas. Um, he likes to uh, kind of get everyone to have a little bit of magic up in their step. Uh, I'm not so. I kind of been trying to keep the classes somewhat pure to what they are. I mean, because everyone becomes a hybrid, whatever, eventually. Part of me just wants to get Lore Master. Just, just get that done with so I never have to worry about replacing more than one ring or whatever. Which is definitely a bad way to be spending your skill points. The lazy method. Um, yeah, that doesn't increase it. The only way to get the increase, if I'm looking at Zial... To get to 9 action points is probably to get her speed up to like 11 or 12. So. Uh, perception. But see, I don't really have a problem with that. I just kind of switch the stances around. It's not a big deal. Uh, dexterity is just the common thing. Constitution is just proving more and more to be just helpful in surviving. You know? So, I'm, I'm leaning towards that. The only one I did for this. Uh, and our good friend Jahan, before I could change my mind about it, hide your fist five. Because I want to get this super healing spell, and I want to just finish out his two, his two trees he kind of comes with. Um, and have that be the case. And... Yeah, you're not getting any higher there. Um, and yeah, boom. You're smarter. John's, his job is to be smart. He's a know-it-all son of a gun. So I have to go pick up the spell from the water person. And it's only once per battle for um, the main heal spell that I'm thinking about. Which I'll probably end up just doing at this this encounter. If I Depends on how long this tunnel of death and doom is. Let's, see if, let's just make sure we clear the rest out before the uh, villagers on the walk bed. on by. Hello. Is just the exit? That's just the exit. Okay. Hi, guys. We cleared the way. If you tell me about this rock one more time, I swear to God. Well, I really can't be too upset at them, actually. Because it's just good for experience. Hi. It seems we weren't the only prisoners to find passage in this tunnel. But it seems our predecessors didn't have a hero to guide them. It's very true. This tunnel's clear. Free to go. Oh, it's like... Like the sun after a long and frigid winter. Mm. We've lost so many in these terribly dark days. But you've even rescued our dear Nolan. Words cannot express our gratitude, dear hero. 
But perhaps something I overheard could be some compensation for your troubles. Ooh. One of the orcish brutes mentioned that Grutelda is collecting quite the stash of loot. You can find the entrance to the cellar from her office in the tavern. Here, I'll show you. Thank you, our hero. Thank you and goodbye. Interesting. What about you, Nolan? What news? Uh. With pleasure, my savior. There you go. The wizard prepared a special hiding place for them. A cellar outside their home, concealed by a massive black boulder. First, though, you'll need a key. This you'll find within one of the wizard's beehives. Destroy the boulder, unlock the cellar door, and you'll find yourself face to face with those you seek. Sweet. And now freedom. Freedom and sunlight. Freedom and fresh air. I'll never forget this kindness you've granted me, my friend. Not on my life. I bid thee the best of luck. Godspeed, Nolan. And you are a wonderful friend in college. Look at the way he's running. He's just, he just really can't wait to get the hell out of here. Um, yeah, that felt good. I feel pretty good right now. Get this, get this, my voice a little higher. No, um, I'm feeling, uh, feeling pretty good. Now, that was obviously the Rat King or I that... I feel like I've just had a long bath in a cold lake. Was this something I could have gotten to before and I just didn't? I think it was, wasn't it? Huh. Well, hey. Still funny. Um, so, we're to hit the old quick save button. And what I'm curious about is the second I enter near them, are they going to want to fight me to the death over this information? Hidden finger. cellar. Cantella's secret cell. For. The hell was that? Oh, hey, Orton. He just leveled up, so we gotta talk to him. Yeah, what's up? Way to beat the odds, Wanderer. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Look at you. Look at all that cool. Look at this crushing weapon of constitution. You say? Mmm, it's infected with the mammoth. Okay, okay. Um, might be something for consider for a good friend. Tenebrum, immunity to burning. Very interesting. See, if I could get the Tenebrum up, I could craft Tenebrum weapons. That's something I should I should have been considering from the get go. Uh, ability, okay, immunity to muted. That is very huge. It's also got a lot of fantastic resistances for making sure Jahan does not get complete. If he gets muted, Jahan might as well not even be in the battle. So, yes, please. Thank you. Um, I'm just kind of looking around at the rest of everything they got here. It's a great freaking thing. Great perception ring. Man. Uh, what's your bows? So the bows need to be upgraded eventually. He really has a lot of great stuff, though. Seriously, this is the guy you want to talk to if you want to get your next uh, level on when it comes to your equipment. Um, I lose out on that nice critical chance and leadership, and I am kind of relying upon leadership, and it's not, it's not exactly like a giant increase of damage. 10% plus I sharpen it. And it's Earth. It's you know, it's, it's all right. I don't know if it's worth me breaking a bank for. Plus, right now, if it ain't if it ain't glowing and divine, I don't really care. This ring is also very interesting. I wonder if there's more Tenebrium style things that I could pick up. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty good one. I mean, immunity being petrified. That's pretty good it's just it's like it doesn't have like every stat that you want uh all right so whatever let's just go through the motions here still haven't identified that my bad here you can have this yeah have that keeping that around because i might use it for other things uh, i'm good the immunity to stun that my need immunity to fear thing i might need a bunch of these wands I really should be making into other things, but I can't really be arsed. 
And whatever, I'm rich. Just give it to me. <laughs> I'm less rich. I'm underneath the 100,000 barrier. But uh, that, that neck is just way too good to pass up on. So we go, hey, buddy. And now you are immune to being muted. You lost one intelligence. Whoop de doo. And your tenebrum resistance went down. I wonder what the orcs want with all this boat. I wonder what they want to. Like. Alright, anyway. Ostentatious one it'll be. Ostentatious. Uh -huh. Okay, so one thing. They both talk about attacking the rock. I swear I tried that. And oh yeah, this is where I find out whether or not the raw really pissed at me and want to murder me. So as I enter in here. Doesn't seem like it's the part. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I just shouldn't hang out too close next to uh, uh, the mountain warrior area. Be like, hey, didn't I send you down there and interrogate prisoners? Why are all of them free? What's that about? On the mend. Oh yeah. Wait, what was it in? It was here. And I kind of want to check out her hidden. Seller, if you will. There's also gonna be an episode. One of the great things about YouTube, um, and and just let's plays in general, is you guys are like, hey, you should have done this back when. And I'm not taking it like. What? I swear I tried attacking it before and it didn't work. And making me feel stupid. Take that rock. Making me feel like a dummy. All right, now. I don't really want to deal with them immediately. The so I will be a deer and uh, move uh, this. They'll never tell. It's underneath a bale of hay. Yeah. Anyway, um, because that's gonna be starting off the next kind of quest thing. So a couple things I want to finish up here. One is Gruntilda's secret cellar. I am very interested in what she has to say here. I'm also very interested if these guys are going to assault me immediately because they're like, hey, way to solve that crime by, uh, yeah, they don't care. They just never went stair downstairs ever again. All right, cool. Plus, I want to take a minute and go through the quest log and actually see what's up. I'm leaving this episode open, though, to um, interpretation later. See, it's hard to figure where exactly this is supposed to be. Is that on the other side or some of that? She said it's right in here. Mm hmm. Resk. You've got to the count of one to kneel before me. Freshen this. Of course, oh mother, of course. Hmm. Yeah. I don't really know why. That's that's gonna be a question for another time, because it's. She said it was within. The hunt and hunter's edge. I'm looking forward in here. Quiet. I'm so tired of listening to you guys. You got a feel about this reanimator quest too. I'm really interested in that one. the finest paw, I say. Have humans uh, yet crafted nope. a beverage that doesn't taste like pus? I could tell the... Yeah, I don't know exactly how to get there. I wonder if I have to move things. They definitely notice it when you move things. Um, see, all is strong enough to be able to move things while she's invisible, but they're probably still going to piss her off. And But yeah, apparently there is some way. Unless it's like supposed to be above stairs... That doesn't make any sense. What is it that you so enjoy about death? Uh, 
and try and move him right now. You've got to the count of one to kneel before me. Freshen this. Of course! Oh, mother! Of course! I'm just sitting down. I don't effing know. You know, I'll look it up later. But that's Gruntilda's secret uh, depository or her secret treasure thing, which I'm guessing is the armory. Okay. Oh, you people talking. You drive me crazy. Unless it's here. All the better. Thirst are so magnify one's craving for goblin flesh. Does this is like there's a way to go through there? So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to get that. Maybe Gruntilda has to be dead, and then I can move things around there. And I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna murder like the hell out of all of these people. So, really, what's next is finding out what's going on with our good friends. Um, with our good friends in the hidden cellar, I think is the way to go. Um, I'm trying to get some place where I can freaking think for half a second without them talking at me. Um, really, one is leveling up. So, like I said before, looking around at the whole thing, uh, I got some suggestions from one guy. I don't want to just do what one guy says, even though, let's face it, Georgia, you've been awesome. Um, he's given me a lot of great tips and a lot of stuff that I wouldn't have thought about otherwise. Although I noticed some up-and-comers from the starting episodes who may not be caught up yet have some ideas for leveling. I'm honestly just thinking about seeing how the their things are going right now and just going defenses most of the way through. I'm kind of content to my current abilities that I can do. I can summon Nick. I can summon of every single person. I think the only person to where I'm kind of wishing I want as many skill points as possible is probably Jahan because I want him to get... Uh, if, if somehow I was able to manage him actually getting witchcraft all the way up to five, I'd be very content. Or at least four. So that way I could do, like, freaking death punch and all those cool, um, master, or, you know, at least one of the master cool spells for, um, uh, witchcraft. But, you know, there's some ideas. If you guys have any ideas beyond that, because I'm kind of just leaning defensive stats. It's boring, I know. But you saw the damage that was happening and moved the Tenebra and weapon, uh, that's the one thing Seamus has got, like, just some resistance to. And it was kicking his butt. Um, and he is my tank of all tanks. So it's definitely interesting to see how all that moves about. Um, yeah, I gotta get his speed up to 9. I could've, I could've started working towards that, I suppose. But whatever. Um, so anyway, so let me know in the comments below what you think uh, I should do. Other than the fact that the Hidden Cellar... And talking and working towards the main quest is kind of where I'm heading. Although, I like to point out... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Can I back up? I can't back up and go to other zones. So I'm just going to quick do the teleport. That... Oh, God. Sacred Stone is probably the best one. Yeah, <laughs> Sacred Stone. A lot of people died there. It was fun. I think I should have brought, I think Medora had some stuff to do there as well, if you would have kept her around. Um, but, where's that cave? Whoa, whoa. It was right here somewhere. Also, are you guys still not able to speak? That temple's older than sin itself, but humans never seem to lose interest in it. On top of the table, is, is there something I've just like completely missed over here? I think there is. I think. Right? It's not here. I don't even know. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, because they kept like talking about pointing in a direction to where things are bad over here. This is just going to lead me to uh, the next screen. Or it's going to lead me to another part of the next screen I haven't been to. Now, every one of those bridges always merges to this one bridge. But my point, and I'll just go back to here to kind of show it off, is that I think the Cave of Portals, someone was mentioning that I missed a particular uh, lever. 
And if I recall correctly, the legend of the were sheep, right, um, was that a piece of parchment indicates to be found in the cave of portals. And I think the portal cave was the one that I went into that was located. Was it here? Somewhere around there. I don't know, I'm kind of walking around looking to find it. The Heart Seeker bow was hanging above it, if you guys remember. Whoa. Is that where I teleported from? Yeah, I guess it was. Huh. Ah, here it is. Are you the Cave of Portals? If I come close to it, will you just say, I am the Cave of Portals? Congratulations, adventurer. You have remembered correctly. Because it feels like it's a Cave of Portals. And if it is a Cave of Portals, I'll do the remembering of... What was the order of this flipping thing again? Um, to take care of that. Have you been to the Cave of Portals? Ah. I heard it's haunted by an undead you. Yeah. So this must be the Cave of Portals. So this is the Were Sheep. I've always been curious. I've never dealt with the Were Sheep underground passage. And yeah, this has to be the Cave of Portals. Why does anything say I'm the Cave of Portals? Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's the Cave of Portals. I mean, why are they be talking about it? in this location so anyway a uh, little bit of a longer episode not exactly action-packed and it could have been a little bit uh greater on story i apologize i was about that with the, the mistakes that was coming from um my recording software or at least i thought it was gonna be a recording software error. um the game was freezing up because i was like i'm not losing my work today oh no so i'll be putting these videos up and i'll probably do my usual strategy of hey i get tomorrow day off from recording divinity at the very least and i'll wait around to see if anybody catches up so long story short i probably will not record divinity original sin until 7 central usa time so eastern that's eight o'clock um that sort of thing so the idea is that um uh, i probably won't record so then just in case anyone has some thoughts on the leveling process um, I know what G. George's thoughts are, and I like them, G. George. I got no, I got no beef with your thoughts. I just want to let other people have a chance to uh, get their say in as well. Um, and once again, a big thank you to everybody. I noticed a massive spike. I mean, granted, a massive spike is technically like a viral video of like, I got 10,000 views. I'm the best. But um, in all seriousness, I noticed a massive spike that came from uh like i was just like saying hey i probably should mention i just got the 250 and all of a sudden the next day i woke up it's like 264 it's like what the like all oh, right go everyone i think somebody was even mentioning i will mention you to people and you know what that's wow that's a bat that's just kind of up there huh what an odd thing uh anyway <laughs> is it still there yeah look at that you only see it from a certain angle. Well, on that screen, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time, and I hope everyone has a good day. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I can't... I can't, I need to figure out how to wrap these up sooner, but I can't. Sometimes I just want to ramble on and on. So I'll do that in another game. <laughs> Take care, y'all. See you then.